I really think that these companies are going to make it big. Let me stop fooling around. Let me stop fooling around. Let me just stop fooling around, right? Let, let me stop. <laughs> I'm just excited. I get really excited when I have to talk about money, guys. When I have to talk about making money. When I have to talk about investing. I just really, really get excited. Okay, welcome back to Chat with Tessa. It's another financial conversation that we'll be having today. If you haven't already, or oh, if you don't know about this already, I have an Instagram page that is specifically focused on financial chats. You can follow that page after watching this video. It's called financial chats underscore Desa. Okay. So if you want daily motivation to get you investing, if you want to really learn that financial literacy that was really left out, like they really left it out. They left deliberately, I feel. They left that one out, hey? That financial literacy that we didn't get at school, you know, where we had to learn the hard way. Um, on, on, on this Instagram page, that's what I'm hoping to do. Everything that I know and have come to understand it as I've understood it, I'll be posting it there, right? So you don't always have to wait for a video. I'll be putting up very useful content on that Instagram page. It is not about the follows and the likes and whatnot. I want to engage with you having financial conversations the same way on my personal instagram you like when i'm looking Tara. you know now i want us to have a whole page where we focus on financial chats today we're going to be focusing on shares buying shares from three companies that are still considered small according to economics finances and the likes you see that world according to them they are considered small but guys they make they, they're doing big things they're doing big things their share price is low right now it's affordable two of them are less than five rand one of them is less than 15 rand right now and maybe a week from now when you come back to this video be like wait a minute she said it was less than 15 rand now the thing is already at you know 17 rand and all of that now i believe in these companies i believe in them and that's why i've taken so much of my money and i've invested it in in these companies because i believe in them and this is why i believe in them hey they didn't have to come and convince me i went i read i watched i, I you know what and i was like no i'm putting my money here hey i am really putting my money here because there are other companies that are promising you know that are doing well but hey when you look at the share price you're like one 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 share guys one share one thousand yeah leave me out of that one <laughs> you know in 2000 and was it 2002 please correct me if i'm wrong but was it 2002 when capitex share price was like was it two rand something like less than three rand it was two rand something and they were a new bank and people were used to you know the big banks that we know that have been around for years and yeah people are like what's gonna happen with this bank and then boom <laughs> capitec is now selling at close to a thousand if not over a thousand already like can you imagine what how much money you would have had i even went to cry <laughs> but i was very young in 2002 i had no clue the slightest ideas about shares like buying shares and investing but i wish i did you know and if you're a young person and you're watching this please listen please act now but imagine if you had bought capitec shares of two rand and you just decided i'm gonna buy 10 shares and now one share guys one one share is selling at over a thousand rand send me packing send me packing because <sighs> anyway i'm over that i'm over that i am over it we keep moving 
the uh, companies that are entering the JSE, they're being listed on the JSE, new companies, companies that are considered small cap terms, right? Terms, don't let them make you run away. Small cap is like small cap, mid cap, and is it high cap or big cap, whichever cap, but small cap meaning that it's small capitalization which they group companies according to their worth or their value and then they'll be like okay if y'all are within these millions in terms of your value we'll consider you small cap if y'all are within these millions within your value we'll consider you a big cap or mid cap or high cap but that's essentially what it is so these companies are considered small cap because of the value of these companies of which when i look at the value i'm like there's a lot of money it's a lot of money they're worth a lot of money but according to the economics and you know yeah the financial hotter 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 that's how they categorize them so small cap companies guys don't sleep on them you don't have to be going for the big dogs you know and be like i'm putting my money here okay capitech is selling at 1000 what 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 i'm gonna buy one share for a thousand don't sleep on the small ones hey don't sleep on the small ones so these companies their share price is still low guys the, the one of them i think is like a two rand something another one is a three rand something so you see two of them are below five rand so that means you can afford that if you're buying airtime and you're buying data and you are doing your nails you're doing your hair you're going shopping that means that you can sacrifice a yellow outfit a whole outfit outfit in Gwai, you know and tell yourself oh, no i'm going to or just cancel lunch cancel lunch actually get dressed sit at home and eat the food that's in the fridge and just cancel lunch and be like today today i'm opening my easy equities app or my standard bank shares app or wherever you trade or buy shares and be like i am buying shares today I'm, I'm sorry no we're not going out so these companies even though you might not fully understand what the nature of their business is of which i'm going to explain that guys we need to follow where the money goes hey like i don't know much about makeup but I have it on today, okay? I tried my best, I put it on. I don't know how, even know how it's made, but I bought it and I put it on. I don't know much about how they sew the clothes and get the fabric and all of that, but I'm wearing clothes today. So even though we might not know certain things about economics and about finances, about how companies run their organization, we don't know much about much. We have to, we have to make a conscious effort to try and understand certain things because if we don't how are we gonna get rich please ask please ask dora please ask <coughs> please ask how are we gonna get rich how how if we keep ourselves out of financial topics financial news finding out about these companies that have just entered the jse that have just been listed where we can just be like i see and these are the three companies that i've decided to buy shares at i put in a lot of money and i'm already seeing growth which i'm happy about i really believe i really strongly believe that these companies in the next couple of years months weeks are going to show me green they're going to show me green. Where, where is green? They're going to show me green, guys. They're going to show me green. Growth, 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 growth. But I also understand that there will be those times where the graph goes like this and it shows me red, yeah? And I'm okay with that. Mentally, my, my, what, what, my investment psychology is growing. Where I understand, Hore, I can see red for months, but at the end of the tunnel, at the end of the tunnel, there might be greener pastures yeah long-term investing i remember wanting to buy easy equities shares and i was like uh where are they on the stock market how do i buy easy equities shares because i mean they are really doing amazing things they are literally changing the game of investing and they're making a lot of money 
And I want to be a part of that. I want to put some money into that and I want to invest in easy equities. And then I was like, oh, easy equities falls under Purple Group Limited. Oh, easy properties, which is also a place where I have invested in property through easy properties. And it's just fantastic. Falls under Purple Group Limited. Okay, so if I want to be a part of the magic, I need to buy Purple Group Limited shares. So how Purple Group Limited is making their money is through everything that goes on in these companies that are under this group. I was like, okay, I get it now. I mean, they are literally selling for, or rather the shares are going for less than a rand i bought this for less than a rand i do believe that the share price will definitely go up and i will make money here i am i bought the shares for less than a rand and hey years from now a few months from now when this financial service provider is doing excellently there i will be with my shares that I bought for less than a rand and I'll be like, look at me, eh? <laughs> One of the other reasons why I bought shares in Purple Group, obviously the main reason, the first reason was because of Easy Equities, right? Um, Easy Equities has been around for six years and from inception in 2014, Easy Equities was just designed for success i believe like their business model was just really a game changer i cannot name a company right now or an investment platform right now that can say year after year they've been winning the tax-free savings award like they're the number one tax-free savings provider and i can see why because I mean, like my previous video where I spoke about where we went tax-free savings shopping. And like, you can see from that video why I went with um, Easy Equities, right? I mean, investing on their platform is really, really affordable. Low fees, low, low fees. You don't have to like lose out on money that you gained on interest due to fees, right? Different partnerships with companies that are also making like big moves right satrix a lot of you might know satrix they are an etf provider as well uh, they don't only provide etfs they actually do more than that but today the spotlight is shining on easy equities um their partnership with bitvest um them creating like one of the best uh, trading platforms in south africa and winning awards for that right um award after award <laughs> at the end of this document they show their awards and it's in this yellow thing and it just keeps getting bigger right in 2017 sunlum bought 30 percent stake in easy equities for 100 million right they also created a platform that allows us to have access to the u.s stock market so you can buy shares on the u.s stock market simply on easy equities on an app in your phone so easily and for like really affordable and accessible right um another partnership that uh easy equities has recently made is with capitec uh, a lot of you might know about that like on the capitec uh, banking app you can now actually um buy shares on easy equities right um they also have given us access to the australian stock market like they just keep bringing innovative ways for us to invest affordable accessible like just easy simple you know so i wanted a piece of that and i was like ah, how do i get these shares Kanti, okay, they fall under Purple Group. And I was like, okay, so I'll buy Purple Group shares. And look at this timeline. The amount of registrations that they have um, across all platforms in these years. So 2014, 15, 16, 17, 18, 2019. And look at 2020, 
736 million. So more and more people are becoming aware of Easy Equities or other companies that fall under Purple Group. So can you imagine that this fintech company, how, how much growth or how much more milestones they're going to hit over the next coming years? How many more companies are they going to partner with? the value of this company over the upcoming years, right? The near future. So that's my justification. Renegin, you might start hearing about Renegin sooner or later. If you haven't already heard about them, they are bringing some serious renewable energy. They are so innovative they are actually even going to be or most likely most likely most likely going to be a uh, transporting the vaccine the covid vaccine yeah and I, I didn't even know like i didn't know that so much goes into transporting a vaccine or medical things or anything like that like the temperature and all of that apparently they have something something that they're going to patent that allows them to transport the vaccine for x amount of time under x amount of temperature and get it to point a to point b and they looking to partner with other uh, companies that can also transport the vaccine because i mean like if if people are going to be given the vaccine can you imagine where it would need to be transported for how long would this be going on for, right? And Renegen might actually be running the show there. <laughs> Thank goodness I've already bought shares there because when the share price goes up, 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 because of that, I'll be benefiting, right? And also like, I didn't know about like, okay, a truck, um, them, the, the truck overheating and the what, the gas, or the whatnot, the diesel that the trucks use and the fact that Renegen has renewable ways to have this happen at a cheaper way that is more friendly to the environment. Guys, I'm just trying to search my memory on what I read. But uh, the things that are happening at Renegen, I'm like, wait, 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 wait. I don't know anything about these things, but the, this this is newsworthy. A company that is selling a 12 rand right now, but they also have helium. Hi, helium, guys. The one that we put in balloons. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not only for balloons. Helium, which apparently I didn't even know, but reading, yo, nyabonga, reading. Thank you, mommy, for taking me to school. So reading, yo, I found out that helium is actually used in a lot of medical um, thingamabobs, medical stuff. So in order for an MRI to happen, MRI scans and all these scans in, 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 in the medical world, all, most of the equipment needs helium in order for a rocket to launch into space when they're going to go see the moon and all of that and all of that, they need helium. I didn't even know I didn't know that helium is actually so abundant but when you're trying to capture it it escapes very easily it's like you trying to capture air right but I didn't know this and that South Africa South Africa could be the could be could be the biggest exporter not import export giving to the world giving to the world could be if the if the, the the renogen helium project goes well or whatever's going on there of which i'm keeping a close eye i'm reading the news i'm keeping myself updated about what's going on at renogen but we could be the biggest exporter of helium like helium is needed guys helium is needed and the fact that there are only eight countries there were only eight countries that were um exporters of helium you know and the united states being one of them being the biggest one of them Yes, that's good. That's that's correct English. <laughs> Being the biggest one of them. And they have actually invested in loaning money to Renogen to do this project, this helium project. Meaning that they know, they know that this, this helium is so important and they want to capitalize on whatever is going to come out of that project. And I'm like, eh, only eight countries. 
and this helium is needed it is really really needed like it's so important even when you go on youtube right now and you type helium or world in dire need of helium what's the uses of helium where or how helium is extracted all of that it will tell you i watched those videos to gain more knowledge about what's the big deal about helium because in my mind helium kitty balloon guys balloons that stay up in the air instead of those ones that you blow and then they stay they they go down helium you put it and then oh you play with helium in your throat and then and now you're gonna have that voice that is all i knew about helium can't you know that's just the small use of helium balloons <laughs> meanwhile helium is needed for more important things in the medical world that it, that's keeping people alive and renegade which is in south africa in south africa could be one of the biggest exporters could be they're on their way hey okay wow if you miss out on that then i don't know like i don't know if you're gonna they are selling at like 12 friends something and of which I, I i i feel i'm not a financial expert i don't want to say the markets i but what i do is research right but according to my understanding with what they're saying they need to patent or they're going to patent for this thing of transporting the vaccine and keeping them at the temperature that it needs to be kept at and all of that their share price will go up it will go up if their project elia helium also goes well their share price will go up if they become the biggest exporter of helium or one of the biggest exporter or they start playing in this club of helium exportation which was only like eight countries doing that right and now south africa is about to be part of that club then renogen is really is really a company to look at they are a company to look at and there are so many videos and i'll link them in the description box and you can have a look at what is being said about um uh, renogen um you you can watch more videos about their liquefied nitrogen gas or something like that i don't know much about gas but now i want to read about it i want to know what they're doing and i'm going to keep myself up to date about it because my money is now there my money is there a lot of my money that i've taken and i've put it there and even though yes guys things remember remember the investment mind things go up and down up and down right be patient watch the news see what the company is doing listen to who is investing in them clearly the, the united states taking their money to invest in renegent why for what reason for what reason because they know they know guys they know right african rainbow capital investment if you look at what companies they invested in or that fall under some of their investments you'll be amazed you'll be like oh so y'all went and put money into alexander forbes and sunlam and all these other companies y'all y'all rain time bank all of that i'm i'm with y'all i am with y'all so are you convinced are you going to invest if you are let me know if you have any questions let me know remember resources in the description box do read do your own research and i don't know maybe next week this might not be the price you saw how much i put in you saw that i bought i'm currently in the green maybe i'll take a little bit of more money and invest a little bit more but i think i'm okay right now where i've invested and how much money i've put in right now but renaissance purple group african rainbow capital investment we will do this again with other companies that i've chosen to invest in if there are any more companies that i invest in and i give you a good reason or i have a good reason why i've invested in them i'll be doing this again and sharing this information with you or sharing these decisions with you maybe like three at a time two at a time 
that type of vibe that type of thing where yeah you get to know my investment decisions and why i've made them that's it from me thank you nikansa follow financial chats underscore tessa on instagram for us to continue these financial conversations these financial chats that we should be having every single day maybe not every single day but weekly every now and then but they must happen they must happen akula we're growing siba says yakula we're growing and we also need to grow in the way we think about money in the way we spend money in the way we invest money goodbye